Hello, today is a short video to accompany my article on changing query views using command bar code. You can see the URL here. And to explain the idea, I thought I'd show you how you can loop through the different query views. OK, so here's my app and some very simple code here, which loops through from opening a query in design view, changing it to SQL view, onto data sheet view, and then back again before it closes it after two rounds. So let's just click the code to start this here. The query opens in design view. After three seconds, it changes to SQL view. After another three seconds, data sheet view and back again a second time round and you can see the looping going on here a SQL view and datasheet view and then after the second time it closes there the code to, to actually cause the delay uses the sleep ABI function it's called wait and for each second that you set it to then it will then delay the code pause the code until that ends coming back to here then you can see three seconds then it changes the next view and again so let's run that once more opening design view changes using command bar code to SQL view changes again to data sheet view and then loops back and changes it to design view and repeats and after the second time then we set it to close and obviously you could use this in any way you want to just do a single change uh, and if you wanted to you could loop after any time interval. So the code for this then as you saw then is just this simple loop you've got a, a counter which loops through in this case twice it opens a set query it then ensures that that has happened before it then starts the wait process then it changes it to SQL view Again, same thing again, changes it to datasheet view. All of these command bar code items are explained in my article. And that's the wait function then, which uses the API function here. Very simple, but very effective. The reason why it's useful is because there is no way of opening a query in SQL view without actually first opening in datasheet view or design view. A crazy limitation of access, but that's the way it is. So that's the URL for more details. Thanks for watching. There'll be more videos to follow. And if you like this, please click the like button, and leave me a comment. Subscribe and then you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. And finally, I'd be very grateful for any topics for future videos in this series. Thanks again. See you soon.